Hey everyone, I'm back with an awesome video today. We're diving into the ultimate guide to becoming a hacker. I guarantee you, this is the only video you'll need to kickstart your hacking journey. Now, some of you might be wondering why I'm covering this topic again. Well, I've seen some confusion in the comments, so I want to set the record straight. This video is all about giving you a clear guide to becoming a hacker. No fluff, just real talk from yours truly. Let me tell you, if you're just starting out and you don't follow this guide, please, please don't waste your time trying to learn hacking. Trust me, it'll save you a lot of time and frustration. If I were to get back into hacking, the first thing I'd focus on is Linux. Why, you ask? Well, Linux is an operating system, similar to Windows or Mako's, but it's open source, meaning anyone can see and tweak its code. It's praised for its stability, security, and flexibility. There are different versions of Linux, known as distributions or distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, and Debian. It's used in servers, supercomputers, and even in everyday gadgets like routers and Android devices. Developers and tech enthusiasts love Linux for its customization options and powerful command line interface. Now, let's make it simple. Which Linux distribution is best for hacking? That's where Kali Linux comes in. Kali Linux is a specialized distribution designed specifically for hackers and enthusiasts. It's based on Debian and comes pre-loaded with a plethora of tools for tasks such as penetration testing, digital forensics, and security auditing. With Kali Linux, you get everything you need for network analysis, vulnerability assessment, password cracking, and much more. It's the go-to choice for hackers worldwide. Hey, if you haven't got Kali Linux yet, let's take a moment here. Download it using a virtual machine. Don't stress about why you're using a virtual machine, just trust me on this one. Click on this video, and it'll walk you through installing Kali Linux on your PC. Once you've got it all set up, you can dive into learning all about Linux. I'll make sure to include all the necessary links in the description below. Okay, now let's get real about starting your hacking journey. If I'm diving into hacking, I'm willing to invest in a course. I don't really mind which course you choose, but make sure it's a good one. All hackers will tell you that the next step after Learn Linux is learning about networking or something similar, but let's put that on hold for now. What you really need is a comprehensive hacking course that takes you from beginner to advanced levels. I can't recommend a specific course, but do your research and invest wisely. Let me be clear, you won't become a hacker just by taking a course. But I promise you'll gain a solid understanding of hacking, expand your mindset, and find it genuinely fascinating. Now, for those of you who can't afford to invest, or are just flat broke, don't worry. You can still get your hands on valuable resources. Just hit me up on Telegram or Twitter, and I'll hook you up with any hacking book you need. It's as simple as asking for what book you want. Now that we've got a good grasp of what hacking is, and its concepts from the courses or books we've read, everything is going to start falling into place. Learning will become easier, and you'll even start figuring out how to learn on your own. But if I were in your shoes, my next step would be diving into networking. And I'm not talking about just any networking course, but specifically networking for hackers. Let me make one thing clear. You won't be able to hack anything if you don't have a solid understanding of basic networking principles like TCP IP and other protocols. Honestly, I highly recommend the book Networking for Hackers because it's incredibly easy to understand and gives you a solid foundation to learn networking from a hacker's perspective. And remember, if you need the book, you know what to do. Once you've tackled networking, we can move on to other skills, but not just yet. First, we need to put our newfound knowledge to work in our Linux environment. After mastering networking basics, I want you to dive deeper into network analysis. Take a tool like Wireshark, for example, and explore all the traffic flowing through your network. Learn how to use it effectively, understand what's happening on your network, and don't stop until you've got a solid grasp of it. And I'll also begin delving into using Nmap to scan open ports on my network and identify vulnerabilities. It's an incredible tool for this purpose. In fact, I've created a comprehensive video guide on Nmap, covering everything you need to know. It's over an hour long, but trust me, it's worth it. So, if you're interested, be sure to check it out. If you're interested in a guide on using Wireshark, let me know by commenting below. Alright, hey, now it's time to reward yourself. You've come a long way, and you've done some excellent work. 
Let me tell you this. Mastering Linux and networking will take around four months if you put all your energy into it. All right, now that we've got a handle on networking, it's time to dive into website hacking. We'll start by learning about website vulnerabilities, taking them on one by one. Along the way, we'll also explore website development basics like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Now, you might wonder why bother with CSS if it's just for styling. Well, my friend, understanding the basics of website development will give you crucial insights into how websites are structured and how vulnerabilities can be exploited. I recommend spending about two to three weeks to grasp the basics. Once you've got a good foundation, we'll move on to learning about web application technologies. For this, I highly recommend reading the Web Application Hacker's Handbook. After mastering the basics and understanding web application technologies, it's time to put our skills to work in Linux. We'll use a powerful tool called Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a cybersecurity tool developed by Port Swigger Security, and it's specifically designed for web application security testing. It helps security professionals identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in web applications by intercepting and manipulating HTTP or HTTPS traffic between a web browser and the target application. If you're interested in learning more about Burp Suite, let me know by commenting below. I am here to help. Oh, now you can truly call yourself a hacker. It's not going to be easy, but you've definitely set yourself on the right path. If I were starting hacking after reaching this point, I'd focus on learning about the various tools available for hackers. I'd aim to become proficient in as many as possible, even if it means starting as a script kitty. I'll explore tools on GitHub and those built into Linux. I reckon I'd spend about one to three months doing this before moving on to the next step. It's all about building a solid foundation of knowledge and skills. If you know of a place where I can share awesome hacking tools, but YouTube isn't an option, they are not into this, please let me know. It would be really helpful. Oh, so now you're calling me a script kitty, huh? But let's get real here and understand why I emphasized learning all Linux tools. Now we're going to delve into programming languages. Okay, remember how I mentioned checking out all the available hacking tools? Well, once you've done that, it'll be much easier for you to decide which programming language to learn. Just look at the tools you really like, see what programming language they use, and then research what programming languages are commonly used to create similar tools. That way, you can make an informed decision. For me, I started learning Python. It's fantastic and incredibly useful for hackers. Then, I also dived into Bash scripting, which is equally great for hackers, although it might not be as well known for other purposes. So, based on the specific tool you're interested in, check out its open source code on GitHub. Study it, understand it, and see how you can make it even better with your own code. I reckon mastering all of this will take you over five months, but trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. Huh, after months of learning hacking, you'll need to keep practicing your skills. I don't care what you choose to hack. As a white hat hacker, I can't condone illegal hacking. However, it's up to you how you use your skills. I actually have a video on how to practice hacking legally, so be sure to check it out for some guidance. Remember, hacking responsibly is key. Guys, once you've mastered all the skills covered in this guide, you won't really need my guidance anymore. Sure, I could keep throwing more guides your way, but the truth is, once you've absorbed all this knowledge, you'll naturally want to explore further. You'll start delving into more advanced topics, constantly challenging yourself to enhance your understanding. You'll find yourself drawn to areas like cybersecurity, wanting to ensure the security of your own systems and those around you. You'll become more vigilant, always keeping an eye out for potential vulnerabilities and threats. The journey beyond this guide is entirely your own. I can't dictate what you should learn next because it's all about where your interests and passions lie. So, go ahead and explore, dive deep into whatever piques your curiosity. After all, the pursuit of knowledge in the world of hacking is endless. Oh guys, I almost forgot one important thing. Before I sign off, let me share something crucial. If I were to dive back into hacking, I'd make sure to research all types of attacks and hacking techniques. Trust me, there are so many out there and it's not going to be easy to wrap your head around them all. What I do is create a comprehensive list of all these attack types. 
Each one, from DDoS attacks to phishing and everything in between, would get its own spot on my list. Then I'd tackle them one by one, diving deep into each topic. For example, if DDoS attacks were at the top of my list, I'd devote my time to learning everything I possibly could about them. From how they work to how to defend against them, I'd leave no stone unturned. This systematic approach ensures that I cover all bases and become well-versed in every aspect of hacking. So, before I bid you farewell, remember to research, list, and learn each attack type methodically. It's the key to becoming a truly knowledgeable hacker. Guys, hacking isn't as glamorous or easy as it's portrayed in movies or on TV. It's a tough and challenging journey that requires dedication and hard work. If you're not willing to give it your all, don't even start. But if you're ready to put in the effort, I guarantee you can become a real hacker within about three years. Never give up, keep learning every single day. And remember, I'm here to help you along the way. Just ask me anything you need. But please, I beg you, don't ask me to hack your girlfriend or anything illegal. I'm not that kind of hacker. I hope this video has opened your eyes to the world of hacking. See you next time.